Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D, changing the game frame by frame. And today I've got a really cool tutorial about the latest updates on Character Creator 4 and iClone 8. That's versions 8.2, which introduce a fantastic new feature, as you guys can see on the screen, these wonderful realistic facial animations with wrinkles and lines that really bring the character to life. And you know, it's really what this software has been missing. So Reillusion have gone and outdone themselves again with this incredible new feature where you can just load loads of different kind of expressions on and you're going to get that realistic natural feel. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use this today. It is really simple and really easy. So without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. So you can see we've got our wonderful character here. And what we're gonna do is a couple of quick, easy steps just to apply these new expressions, these new kind of facial wrinkles to the character. So we first wanna just make sure our character's set to CC3+. Plus. As you can see up here, my character's a CC3 plus character. And then simply all we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here into our actor tab and we're gonna go to our facial profile here and then we can go into our characters and we can just apply the CC4 extended profile. And this is just gonna ensure that the wrinkles are perfectly in place and they don't kind of, you know, overdo it with the expressions, etc. So we'll just hit apply and that's gonna apply that. And then we can come over to here in the modify tab and you'll see this new tab here, which is called expression wrinkles. We can simply come over to it and activate it and that is literally as simple as that. And what you're gonna find now is it's gonna take a few seconds to convert the data and apply the wrinkles. But now what you'll find is if we go into our expressions tab and edit facial, any kind of expression we apply, you're gonna see the wrinkles now apply. We can see here in the eye, we've got some nice wrinkles and we've got this nice wrinkle here in the cheek. So this is really incredible and we'll try a couple of more expressions very quickly. So we'll just use this angry expression and you can see loads of wrinkles, maybe a little bit too much. So we can just decrease that a little bit here by using this slider here and we can just decrease that value. But you can really start to see what's going on. This is incredible because all we're doing is literally clicking a few buttons, applying it. And then what we can do is we can send it over to iClone and you can use any form of facial expressions on the character and it's gonna really apply those wrinkles. So we'll just get this character sent over to iClone and I'm just gonna reset this to zero and we're gonna close this and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click this button up here and this will then send this character into iClone. And once that's done, that will send that character straight into iClone. Now you can see here, when we go into our, we click on our character and we go into our modifier tab and we're just gonna now use the motion puppet or the the facial puppet feature here. So the face puppet, we're gonna use this and I'm gonna show you exactly how these wrinkles are now applied. So if we go on our browser and we hit preview, you can see now when I kind of raise the eyes and lift them up, you can see the wrinkles coming in. So it looks really cool. Now, because of a fringe, we can't actually see the top of the hair. So I'm just gonna very quickly click on the hair and we're just gonna hide it just so we can see what's actually going on with the wrinkles. And now we've got this wonderful bald character. So we'll just go back into our face puppet and I'm just gonna then do that again with the brows. And you're gonna see here the wrinkles on the forehead just look incredible. And you know, really easy to now start layering these motions in and getting those realistic facial wrinkles and expressions. And it just looks incredible. So if I go to Camille here and we'll just add one with a bit of a smile and we can see, you know, the wrinkles in the face, in the cheek, just under the mouth. It just looks incredible, guys. And, you know, we're gonna really be able to get some very realistic facial expressions now using this phenomenal, phenomenal tool. So, you know, you've got limitless possibilities. Uh, <laughs> we've got our character kind of cross-eyed here, but we've got limited possibilities to really kind of apply these. And, you know, we can use the nose here and you'll see all sorts of wrinkles start to come in the cheek area and it just looks really, really fantastic. So, you know, really, really simple to do. And then, you know, you can record all of your motions. We can record these on. And, you know, if we record a few seconds and then we can just stop that, play it back. And you'll see that those wrinkles are set in place when we play that back. So looks incredible, guys. I mean, this is really game changing because 
you know, it's something that we didn't have before and we've now got access to it and it is that easy to apply. So I really hope this tutorial helps and I really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.